According to memes, rappers, and Hotep internet forums, Dr. Sebi was a self-taught doctor who created a cure for cancer, HIV, and other ailments that would have made Big Pharma lose out on hella money, so they sabotaged his career and killed him. Believers of this theory claim Sebi proved he cured HIV before the Supreme Court of New York and won. Here are the facts. Sebi was born Alfredo Bowman in Honduras. He learned herbal remedies from his grandmother and this is how his healing career began. He founded Ogun Herbal Research Institute in Brooklyn, New York in 1985 and never claimed to be a doctor but he did claim his herb remedies revitalized cells. In 1985 he began advertising a cure for HIV though the official test didn't debut until the end of that year. False positives on official tests were common until the end of the decade. On February 10, 1987, Sebi was arrested on two counts of practicing medicine without a license and one count of dispensing medicine without a license. The more serious charges were leveled in front of the Supreme Court of New York in September 1988. It was reported that Sebi was acquitted on October 1st, 1988. In the court documents and newspapers, it's made plainly clear that Sebi was on trial for practicing medicine without a license. At no point was he ever on trial to prove that his herbal remedies were effective in curing HIV or cancer. In 1988, Sebi's own lawyer said, the attorney general proceeded on the erroneous assumption that the products being marketed were medicinal compounds. The products in fact are vegetarian natural liquid compounds. This explains why Sebi successfully beat the charge of practicing medicine without a license. He was not actually practicing medicine as defined by law. But that isn't the claim made by conspiracy theorists. The claim is that his dietary program could cure HIV and other illnesses. Which brings me to another statement by Sebi's own lawyer. There is a total lack of proof that he was practicing medicine within the meaning of the statute. And the claim of a cure came from individuals that had these experiences and reported them. The institute merely echoed their sentiments. This quote reveals that no actual research was being performed on the clients that would accurately monitor the cure of HIV or any other illnesses. Claims of being cured were self-reported by Sebi's clients. But also, Sebi didn't die until 2016 at the age of 82. Meaning that if Big Pharma really did kill him of pneumonia as people claim, they let him walk around making a small fortune from celebrities like Michael Jackson and Left Eye for 31 years. Come on now.